Okay, guys, welcome back. Today we have yet another awesome animatronic that came from the haul that I got from Facebook Marketplace. You guys have seen Chopping Brock. You've seen the Circus Psycho Zombie Clown. And today we are going to be looking at a totally awesome one that I absolutely love. Right here in this box right here. And this is death row i believe this is another one from 2013 and there's actually not a whole lot to put together with him right here but do not click off this video because i have something absolutely awesome to show you that's going to make this guy a hundred percent better let's go ahead and get him set up real quick and then we'll get down to it okay so unfortunately i do not have his original box either i didn't get any of the original boxes with any of these animatronics that i got from facebook marketplace which is a bummer but that's all right i can make my own so right out of the box this guy comes almost completely put together there's only one thing you have to do and there is a little pipe in the back here that you just stick in a little hole <laughs> and then he sits up like this and that's pretty much it you plug him in you set the sensor or the step pad and i actually have a step pad but this is an older animatronic so the step pad that i have will not plug into this one we have to use the sensor and the sensor on this one is located right inside his mouth there above his tongue now just taking a look at this guy he doesn't have any shackles on his feet he does have what appear to be shackles on his hands here and he has some velcro on his wrists that you would use to velcro him to a chair because basically this is how he comes he does not come with a chair you just set him in whatever chair you have and you velcro his hands on the arms just like this so it's like he is actually strapped into an electric chair and that is it as far as the straps go now he does have these two wire looking things up here usually in an electric chair there's like a big wire that comes through the top of the head here on this uh i don't know this headpiece whatever you want to call it his nifty silver hat <laughs> And it actually sits down on their head and then they get electrocuted. But that's not the case with this guy. He is basically an all-in-one prop that all you need is a chair. Now I believe that he lights up a little bit. I don't see any lights on here, but I believe he lights up when he starts going. So let me get him plugged in here. We'll see how he works. And I'm going to show you something totally awesome. Just hold on, hold on hold on well worth it i also notice he doesn't have a volume on here so you just get what you get with him and he is pretty loud all right we got him plugged in set his arms here his floppy arms and then we're going to turn him on and here we go <laughs> oh okay yeah his wrists are lighting up okay so what i saw was that his wrists light up right here i can't even see okay it's right inside his sleeve here there's a light in each side oh crap <laughs> hold on okay so just sitting on the edge of the hot tub here he wants to like fly off which is why they have the velcro on here and there's also velcro on the back on his butt now this zips close i just have it open so i can access that button but he has velcro on his butt too so he can velcro into a seat and i just pulled him apart <laughs> i just killed the death row inmate all right let's spin him around here there's always something with these animatronics when i'm setting them up guys this is the simplest one ever and i still can't do it right okay well this gives me a little chance here to show you what i'm talking about he's got this little pole right here and you lift him up and this piece here goes inside that pole just like that and that's it that's how you set him up now let's turn him around here again now i didn't notice if he had any other lights going off anywhere and we're going to test him out here in a second and find out but here we go guys this is what you've been waiting for and this is what's going to make this guy 150 percent better than what he is sitting right here. I built an electric chair. Check this out. I did not want to set this guy in just any old kitchen or dining room chair. I wanted him to have a legit electric chair. And here it is right here. 
I just built this. And if you want to see how, you can go over to my other channel, that Nate guy on Halloween. I actually have the video saving right now of how I built this. And these two things right here, check this out. It's pretty light out here, so I need to get closer so you can see it good. But look at these guys. Electricity, and if you touch it, the electricity follows your fingers on both of these. Pretty dang cool. So that just reiterates that this is an electric chair. Look at this. We've got straps for his legs. We've got straps for his hands. He isn't going anywhere once we put him in there. And that's what we're going to do right now. All right, dude. Dead man walking hip. We got a dead man walking. Maybe he's not walking. There we go. Dead man walking. <laughs> Perfect size for this guy. Legs down in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, holy crap. That was crazy getting him in there. <laughs> it was slightly too small for his butt, only because I had these parts of the arms actually screwed into the seat. So I had to unscrew them. I had to lift them up a little bit higher, and now he fits perfectly. We got him strapped in down here at the ankle, strapped in at the wrists. These actually could be tighter, but that's all right. That'll work for the moment. We got our little balls of electricity going here on both sides. I am going to lift him up, put him up on the hot tub, and then close these curtains here so it's nice and dark in there. And then I'll show you how he looks. All right, here we go. Getting super dark in here. <laughs> okay, well, that's what he looks like in here. We still have a little bit of light creeping in, but at least you can see the uh, the plasma balls back there electrocuting. So let me get him turned on here. And there he goes. Oh my gosh, his face lights up and everything. That is pretty crazy, guys. Let's do that again. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, let's open these back up so that we can see him with some light. Yeah, there he is. That's what he looks like in the chair with some light on him. I did not know that his face lights up. That was really cool. Um, you can kind of see the lights on his wrists. So cool. Let's do it one more time. All right, mister. Wow, he is absolutely awesome, and the addition of the legit electric chair makes him that much better, guys. Like I said, if you want to see how I built that chair, go on over to my other channel, that Nate guy on Halloween. That video is going up very shortly. And I believe when this guy first came out, he was only a hundred bucks. I mean, that is a heck of a price for such a cool animatronic. I love this. I love the straps. I love the straps on his hands. I love everything about him. All right, I'm going to get in there and edit this video because I'm so excited for you guys to see him. That haul from Facebook Marketplace was definitely worth the money, guys. I paid $500 for everything I got, and there are still a few more coming, so stay tuned.